Hello, what's up, fellow crypto people? Alexandros here, back again. Another banger today, guys. Apple yield. This one is pretty special and pretty interesting because of its tokenomics and the whole idea behind it. It also has NFTs, which I will show you in a second because they are very exciting as well. They are randomly generated, so I think that's something that is worth mentioning because I think it's one of the first uh, BSC projects to do that. Uh, so that's something that I like. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to obtain their tokens on PancakeSwap, so uh, I hope that you will like the video. Uh, yeah, we can get started, I guess. So we'll be reviewing the Apple Yield, as I just said, and it's very low cap gem indeed because there is 1.3 million only at the moment. They have a great community and hardworking developers. Uh, the people behind the project they are actually very experienced and they are working hard to make this a success with all the marketing, with all the development and yeah, the supply is pretty interesting we're gonna be telling you why in a second uh, some of you might be kind of guessing why the supply is so specific you can see it here so it's 7 billion, 879 million, 785,018 so we'll talk why it's this exact supply in a second they are also listed on uh, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko and the most interesting part about it is that they made it in the first month of, of actual working. So in the first month they managed to launch farming, they managed to list on CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap where majority of projects already failed to do that in the first month or even first few months. Uh, it always takes them a long time to list here and Apoyold actually did that in the first month of development. Uh, they also have a partnership with Hold, uh, Hold Finance, ApeSwap and some other exchanges so uh, there will be some info about it here too uh, they also have a very nice git book which we will be going through in the later part of this video they also have partnership with the generate money and they have their first NFTs uh, they are also audited so it's a 100% safe token when it, comes to, when it comes to the audition and with that being said I think we can kind of start uh, with talking it through from the more like technical side uh, as I promised on your screen you can now see the NFTs and these are printed out they are randomly generated and you can see how cool at least cool in my opinion they look on, on the actual wall in a frame uh, they also shared this picture on their, uh, on their telegram so yeah if you are interested in that you can check out their telegram community as well it will be of course down below in the description uh, and yeah basically that's it so uh, getting more into the specifics, so why there is this specific amount of tokens? And there is actual cool idea behind it, because they thought to make a token that the supply uh, will be the same as as number of people that are on the world. So at this specific moment there was this many people on the world, they decided to make this a thing, make this a token, the token is called Soul, as you can see. And yeah, there's 7,879,785,018 tokens. And uh, as you can see, this much were burned, then this amount was uh, lost, and this is how much is left. Uh, the burned supply 21.87%, plus the team minus 10%, the total minus 31.87%. Uh, you can see how much the holders earned here 87.47%. Uh, when it comes to the farms guys, there is 216,344 bucks locked in the TVL of farms, so that's also pretty promising for a new project and this will be definitely growing over time. As I said, it's a low cap token, uh, you can purchase it for very cheap and it has a lot of potential, a lot of room to grow uh, of the price appreciation. So here we have a short little description. Will you stay with your mere non-meaningful existence or stand up against apocalypse and join the four horsemen which you can see on this gif overall the website is made in this kind of like uh, maybe not retro but maybe it is some sort of retro like game vibe kind of like that i mean it gives you that nice uh, retro vibe you know what i mean this vintage look so the website is actually cool like you you know you had this arcade games back in back in the days it kind of reminds me of those and yeah, I'm a big fan of the design actually, uh, that's pretty pretty cool. Uh, Apoyold is a deflationary frictionless yield product with its own token called SOL. Initially the number of SOL tokens is equal to the number of citizens of Earth, that's what I just told you a second ago. 
With every transaction 2% of the souls gets condemned forever and lost in hell, yet another 8% gets another chance of survival in a shared form in wallets of all remaining holders, so basically it gives you this passive income whenever the transaction is made, uh, the token 2% is burned, 8% is redistributed to the holders, to all the holders network and that's how you earn the passive income just by holding this in your wallet. Do your own research, the soul token code has been audited, that's just what I told you. You have the audit here, I'm gonna be showing you that in a second. Farm code has been also audited, you deposit on your own responsibility. I'm actually, that's actually cool that they mentioned it on the website, most projects just avoid that and they are pretty transparent about it, they even tell people to do their own research, so that's cool. Uh, they've been audited by TechRate. I think I mentioned that at the beginning too. If I didn't, then, then I mentioned it right now. As you can see, they passed everything uh, with great green colors. Uh, same when it comes to the token contract itself. Of course, we have the uh, contract here. So it's all legitimate when it comes to that part. Uh, all right, so that's, uh, that's not... I mean, that's the tokenomics, okay? That's the tokenomics. Uh, here is the pancake swap, as you can see. Just click here. Uh, we also have this DSL token and the SOL token. So, uh, SOL is available on Slime Swap, Ape Swap, and Pancake Swap. And I, I don't have my wallet connected currently, but the slippage is around 11% from what the developer told me. Uh, so, yeah, 11% is the slippage that you need to, to purchase that. Uh, and yeah, that's basically how it works uh, when it comes to the buying. So, if you get any error, then just check if your slippage is 11%. Uh, if it doesn't work, you can just put it to like 12%, it should be working just fine. Uh, as you can see, 1 BNB currently equals to this much tokens, it's 2,102,940. In fact, you will get about 1,900,000 with this slippage, so you kind of need to look on the minimum received instead of this, uh, so you get the idea of how much you will get in fact. Uh, that's how Pancake works and yeah, you just gotta accept that. Uh, third party farms, as you can see, they have uh, some partnerships, so they obviously will have the third party farms as well. Uh, you can see the APRs, they are pretty decent, 810% on this one, and here are their own like inside farms. And as you can see, the APRs here are actually very good because the TVL is still small, so that's why I told you that you can take advantage of that and start farming here uh, for the bigger profits. So as you can see, the APRs 1.4k, 300%, uh, it's, it's very good actually, it's super early still. Uh, some cool tokens here. You also have their own uh, DSL to Soul token, uh, BNB to Soul, and some other tokens. As you can see, uh, I guess some partner tokens. Uh, this is, I believe, Blue Swap Finance token here as well. So and the Digen. Uh, so there is a bunch of those. Uh, then when it comes to the website, they also have this NFT thing. Uh, I kind of misclicked because I have it in the second page. Uh, so, as you can see, you have all the pricings here. You have the sold prices, the SL prices, so lottery balance, all that kind of stuff. And you have the last pieces that were minted. I mean, I can uh, refresh that, I think. So you have all the rarities mentioned here. So this one is common, for example. The uncommon are the ones with this background, I believe. And they are all kind of randomly made. So that's what makes them unique. That's what make them make them cool. Uh, because they are all different. And that's why I just showed you this pick at the beginning. Because, yeah, I think that's it. That it's quite cool. You can actually have them like in your house if you are a fan of the project. And it still looks cool. At least for me, alright? You can have other aesthetic... <laughs> Uh, aesthetic feeling about it, but yeah, that's what, what I think. Uh, they also have this Twitter here, 4,000 followers, I just left them a follow. Some cool stuff being posted here, as you can see, they do run giveaways as well. Uh, 300,000 sold to be won, so if you are interested in participating, uh, you can go ahead and do so as well. Twitter is down below in the description, as I always do, and yeah, that's what you can also take advantage of. And you can follow them here, participate in some giveaways, stay up to date with all the information they share. Uh, so yeah, here is the gitbook, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, when it comes to the prices, they are listed on the, on the CoinGecko, as I told you. Trading volume, I don't know which markets this track. Uh, it tracks only Pancake, so from Pancake itself, they have 20,000 here. Uh, you have the circulating supply mentioned here as well. And the market cap, which is only $1 million, guys. Only $1 million, super early. Uh, everything below $1 million, is, market cap is super early, like this is only 30,000 above, so I would still consider this super early. Definitely has a lot of room to grow. Easy 10x from here, I think, uh, when they get some more traction on the website, could be going even farther. 
Obviously, do your own research as they mentioned on their website, but that's what I think personally this could easily take off when they get some more uh, traction, when they get some more momentum. Uh, there is a lot of projects that even have like hundreds of millions of market cap, they don't have any products, they are not any unique, they are just copycats and they somehow get this market cap. So this is very unique, they will have a product, so that's why I think it could easily like even go to like 20, 30, 50, 000, uh, 50 million market cap. So yeah, just, just have your eye, have your look on that and kind of look out for that. If you want, you can purchase some of those. Uh, do your own research and then decide whether you want to buy or not. Uh, they are on CoinMarketCap as well. And I'm gonna refresh that for the latest info, obviously. And CoinMarketCap is also tracking only the Pancake, but they have some more pairs uh, from what I can see. They have the DSL one and the BTCB one. Uh, Alright, so yeah, that's just wanted to show you that they are in fact here. They also have this Telegram community, 4,000 members worth joining. And when it comes to the website itself, they also have uh, farms, it's what I showed you. Um, they have this roadmap, which I'm gonna be showing you as well. And they have the games, so if you are interested in the games, you can also check them out. I can't quite show you them on the video because of YouTube policies, but you can check them out by yourself on the on the, on the website. Uh, here you have the roadmap, as you can see, and the burn map, <laughs> kind of made in this cool way as well. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, first of all, you have the Soul Pool, then Cemetery, Roadmap V3 will be the last one, I think. More partnership, ApeSwap partnership, that's what they made, NFTs also done. Uh, so yeah, and the burn map is actually pretty cool because uh, every 500 Twitter followers there is some burns, every 500 Telegram members as well, every Tuesday, every time Soul hit all time high, every new partnership. So they actually have a full roadmap for burns, I've never seen that anywhere else. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's very unique, that's very cool and deflationary tokens always skyrocket when when the supply comes lower and lower uh, so yeah that's another tip for you <laughs> that's another tip for you guys so here is the gitbook that i also wanted to mention you if you want to get into some more mechanical technical stuff and uh, the gitbook also contains all of that information all the tokenomics as you can see they even have those codes here uh, explanation of the transactions why they are charged the fees what the fees go for uh, the audits, contracts, roadmap about them, all that kind of stuff, all the partnerships, governance stuff as you can see, pretty cool good book. I'm gonna be showing you also the, um, this is the soul token and this is the deployer address. I'm gonna be also showing you that and I think we can wrap up the video here. So here is the initial burn I think or this is the, I'm not quite sure here, uh, that's the deployer I believe. Uh, then what else we have here, okay never mind. I kind of... <laughs> kind of did that in the wrong direction let me go to the github not to the github but to the gitbook again they are transparent about everything they do so this is the deployer address okay that makes sense so yeah uh, there is some bnb here that's pretty normal uh, this is the token address okay if you click here you can add this to your metamask they have 6414 uh, holders currently so they're growing quite rapidly uh, honestly for a 1 million market cap coin it's a lot of holders uh, at least in my opinion okay don't get me wrong it's a lot of holders especially this is one month old keep that in mind guys this is still very new project indeed they already have this community of 6400 holders and this will be only growing over time so that's cool and it was initial burn as i thought at the beginning so yeah you have it all uh, transparent here as well it was sent to 0x0 zero zero, uh, obviously so yeah uh, all right so we will be wrapping the video up here guys if you did enjoy you can leave the comment down below you can subscribe to my channel you can like the video and you can check out the apple yield links are in the description thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos coming out soon